this video is showing the plasma cutting uh, portion of the sprinkler system. This is what is used to cut a saddle or, and or the hole into the pipe, the main header pipe of the sprinkler. Uh, that is where the nozzle is placed. Uh, distance between nozzles often is determined by the size of the building. Uh, that can vary any number of uh, uh, ways. This unit rotates around uh, similar to the welding system uh, where it cuts a hole and then uh, the pipe is advanced where the nozzle is, is tacked and or held into place uh, while it's being weld. You have your speed uh, for how fast you wish to do your cutting. That will be based on the amount of uh, how high you have your plasma cutter set as well as your uh, speed. You have the forward, you have brake which is stop, reverse, your basic on off uh, function. Over here is uh, where you have your arc which is the cutting, can be on or off. And then you also have your automatic as well as hand mode. Hand again is usually used for setting up your speed uh, manual adjustments of where you want uh, the torch to be. Preliminary testing many times is done within the manual mode. In this case it's stated as hand. Uh, again this is a Bugo Cypress uh, sprinkler circle cutting unit. These systems come typically with one cutting unit and one welding unit. After this unit cuts a hole the pipe is advanced up uh, and then the welding section will uh, be done down on uh, in this case it would be cut here and advanced on down to the welding head where the nozzle is put in place and completed. Uh, Cypress again as stated is well known for manufacturing uh, the Cypress uh, welding system as well as cutting system complete on the, in this case, a side beam assembly. Uh, we'll be showing you momentarily in the next video this unit actually doing a cut on a uh, circle or on a flat plate, uh, but it can do flat plate and or circular. This segment we're going to be showing the plasma cutting unit of the Bugo Cypress sprinkler cutting system. We're going to be using this one currently on a flat sheet of material that's a little bit uh, not as flat as we'd like it to be. This is just going to demonstrate how the cutting actually uh, does work. Uh, the part uh, is stationary. The head of the Cypress Bugo system rotates around either pipe or in this case you'll be seen on flat steel. Go ahead Ron.
Uh, as you can see, we did a half circle cut. That's the ring we just cut off. And this would uh, be similar to uh, what you would do if you were doing flat plate. In the case of this system, it's designed to actually do some rise and fall if need be, depending on the pipe diameter. Uh, this concludes the demonstration of the plasma cutting. Uh, we're doing an overview today of a Cypress Buggo welding system. This is a circular welding system designed typically for sprinklers, nozzles. Here is your on-off button. That's basically your start and stop, uh, powering up, powering down. The light will indicate when it's on. Your next button up indicates the direction of your rotation. You have a forward, stop, and reverse. Uh, stop is basically your brake. Forward is clockwise. Reverse is counterclockwise. You'll want to set your speed specific to the diameter of the part and thickness. And this may change depending on the part that you're welding. Uh, some parts this may not change. You may just repetitiously leave it in the same uh, position. Uh, but if you get into different thicknesses and diameters, this knob may be changed, uh, increased and decreased for speed. Up here is your DC. This is going to tell you what your uh, welder is producing voltage-wise. This is going to tell you how much amperage you're getting, and that amperage is going to be specific to your wire feed speed, which is on this side of the control. This is your wire feed speed. Increase, decrease, clockwise increases, counterclockwise decreases. You have wire up and down so that you can set your wire distance um, so that you can have a certain amount of stick out. You have your manual uh, mode, you have your automatic mode, and off mode. Uh, manual mode is usually for setup, automatic is usually what you'll be in all the time when you're doing production welding. Over here is pre-flow. That's how much time you'll have of gas coming prior to the arc starting. That's usually about one to two seconds maximum. Post-flow is the gas when you've completed your weld. Post-flow is more important because that allows the fluid puddles to solidify without letting air get to it and porosity problems. Burn back will set the amount of stick out after you've completed your weld. The burn back will uh, burn it up to a set distance and you'll usually want to keep it anywhere from a quarter to three eighths of an inch stick out. Uh, cold inch, that's so that you can adjust the wire up and down in accordance with what, uh, if you want to inch it up or if you want to inch it down, there will be no uh, power on the wire at the time. This particular unit also has the oscillation control. The oscillation control will allow you to dither the head of the torch in an oscillation fashion and you can do the changing of how much speed you want to do that and if you wish to dwell on one side or the other. All of that is controlled through this oscillation control module. That concludes the basics. Uh, now we're going to show a demonstration of the Buggo CW5 welding apparatus carriage. Uh, do a circle weld on a piece of plate.
include showing you a basic circle weld with the CW5 bug welding system.